the Olympic Games are a great leveler. You have an 11 year old who's competing at these Paris Games, and you also have Rohan Bopanna who's uh, on the other side of 40, but age hasn't slowed him down. He's in fact gone from strength to strength, and he's going to be competing in his third Olympic Games. Rohan, tennis is about the four grand slams, but it's very rare to have the Olympics being played at a grand slam venue. In fact, your first Olympics was London, where it was Wimbledon. And now it's the French Open where you won your first Grand Slam. So, great memories. Uh, first of all, Digi, thank you, you know, for having me. It's always a you know, pleasure chatting with you. And uh, uh, yeah, excited to be back uh, here in Paris. Uh, I've always had some fantastic memories, as you pointed out. Yes, my 27 weeks I was the Grand Slam. My first Grand Slam title came right here at this venue. Uh, so, Lots and lots of memories, and uh, even Roland Garros this year, uh, I'll be reached the semi final. So, I've uh, been playing some good tennis the last 18 months. Uh, you know, I've had a great partner by my side, and uh, this time around, uh, I'm playing with Sridham Balaji, and uh, nothing bigger than representing a country. And uh, you know, third time for me to play uh, at the Olympics Games, and it's exciting every time. You know, I come back at these games, I get to meet our Indian athletes, talk to them, share a lot of memories. It's, it's just a beautiful thing and uh, you know, slowly helps us prepare and get ready for the game. In fact, I'll get to the tennis because you brought this up. I, I was made aware of a fantastic conversation you had with, with Sharad Kamal and a lot of others. And it, because you travel week in, week out as a professional tennis player, you don't get this opportunity to interact with your fellow Indian sports persons. It's the Asian Games or this. And there's a great exchange of ideas happening, I'm told. And, and Indian sport is on the up and you, you all were uh, sort of exchanging notes and I'm told that uh, there's a lot of positivity within that Indian contingent back in the village. I think, uh, yes, absolutely. It's always nice when you meet uh, uh, other sportsmen from your own country because you can understand uh, uh, and, you know, familiarize with yourself in what all everybody goes through. I think the biggest encouragement, I think, uh, the conversation we were having is that how amazing the government has been supporting uh, sportsmen. And I think we're all thankful for that. And I think that is changing. That trend is changing and it really shows that, uh, you know, there's a lot of good, positive belief in uh, the athletes who are coming out representing the country and at these games. And uh, we were having a great conversation of, uh, you know, how uh, from the past decade, both with uh, Sujesh and uh, Sharad, uh, you know, both of them, uh, you know, being there, that uh, it's nice to, I think, uh, have these conversations and uh, also understand uh, how much passion we have, uh, you know, from our own selves to give back to the sport, develop that sport, and really work together as a team. Now you're the last of the golden generation of Indian tennis, you know, and uh, there weren't anyone around for you to partner with. You played with Mahesh before, you played with Leander as well, one Olympics. So what made you pick Sri Ram as your partner? Because by by virtue of being a top tip player, you were guaranteed a pick. It's unfortunate last time India didn't have anyone in mixed up, and you were very agitated about that. So, uh, what made you pick Sri Ram, and what are the attributes that you think will help you all in your campaign here at the Olympics? I think the realistic belief started, uh, you know, at the end of the year when we qualified for touring uh, with my partner Matthew, and then that I have a significantly uh, high quality partner by my side where I can definitely look to remain top 10 during the Paris uh, Olympics. So, and then India has that spot guaranteed. And uh, the two names which are realistically uh, there and giving me an obvious uh, chance to play was uh, Sriram Balaji and Yuki Bambri. And these two guys who have been playing uh, the uh, challenger level, the two events, uh, you know, so they've been playing uh, good tennis. And I, and I felt. Uh, Sri Ram's, uh, yeah, you know, game style for this kind of surface could be the best option for me, best pick for me. Uh, no matter who I was going to play with, uh, were going to be, they they were uh, here going to be making their debut. Uh, so yeah, so it was not like it was an obvious choice, but uh, yeah, I went with uh, you know Balaji just because he has an explosive game style, and I've kind of done well with the kind of partners like mm -hmm. that in the past, and uh, you know he had a good play court. Uh, uh, season as well, so I thought, you know, let's give it a shot and see how that goes. Also, I think we should remember that form goes out the window when you're playing the Olympic Games. There's a huge difference. I remember Rio, the top six went out in the first round. Djokovic went out early as well. But there's also Sumit here. Sumit Nagar's here yeah. in singles as well. 
and I'm just happy to see Rohan how his game is sort of he's also risen from the depths that he we, we felt he was plunging to when he put out that statement last year when he was struggling for funding and all. But that's what the Olympics are all about, right? You are rewarded for your grit, your determination, and this perseverance. I think that's what being a sports person is. I think I'm extremely proud of Sumit the way he has uh, actually. Uh, come back uh, and fought so hard to, you know, where he is today. I think uh, it's all the hard work, not only by himself, but uh, his entire team. I mean, you know, his coach, uh, uh, Sasha Nensel, his fitness trainer, Mino uh, Galeshis. Uh, these two guys have been a significant part of his journey, a significant role who have, uh, you know, made him believe that he can get here and his potential there. And I think he believes it today. And, uh, I think great to the entire team, uh, you know, and I'm uh, extremely happy that we have uh, someone from India representing the singles uh, aspect as well. And uh, yeah, looking forward, uh, you know, to his match. He has a Frenchman as well. He's going to be playing again. So yeah, I think it's India versus France uh, in the tennis contest. Well, India and France have great relationship uh, in terms of the government and the strategic things. But you know, sporting field things change. But while your focus, Rohan, is on winning a medal for India. I'll leave it at that. Winning a medal for India is a priority for every sports person. As, as a tennis player, are you also keenly observing what's happening around you? Because lots of storylines at these Olympic Games. Andy Murray said that this is going to be his last tournament. Probably the last Olympics for Djokovic. And we all know that the end is coming for Rafael Nadal as well. I think it's... Uh, uh, and as, a tennis, Nida, right? as a tennis player, I mean, we should all uh, appreciate you know, the Arab. Uh, you know, we've been, I've been thankful to be playing uh, uh, at the same time as these guys and sharing the locker room space with these guys. And, uh, you know, I've had some great memories, uh, you know, uh, practiced with them quite a bit, you know, played against them uh, many times and uh, been on the same team as well, you know, with them. So it's, uh, it, yes, of course, when you do read about, uh, you know, uh, that uh, their journey is coming to an end, it does make sense. You know, everyone I think feels sad about it, but I think you know there is uh, a time for everyone where they have uh, enjoyed the journey, been in that journey, and take it off so many times. Yeah, the sport doesn't always give you the perfect send off. We saw that with Virat and and Rohit Sharma, but you you were here for the French Open, and you always got a sense that a first round loss isn't what Rafa is going to go out with, and he's he's done the right things, right? He's prioritized. The Olympics, playing here, giving the fans here one final in front of Kura and playing with Alcaraz as well. And remember, he won a gold medal in doubles in, in Rio as well. So, the king of clay yeah. on clay. No, absolutely. I think uh, you can never count him out, especially here at Roland Garros. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, he's been an incredible uh, tennis player and he's. Uh, uh, been such a great role model for all of us, uh, you know, out there. Not only with his tennis, but also off the court, inspiring so many, so many uh, generations, and also the young players, including Alcaraz, who's coming in, uh, you know, from Spain. And uh, yes, he's playing doubles with uh, Carlos Alcaraz, and he uh, did win that gold medal in Rio with his uh, good friend Mark Lopez. Lopez yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, you know, I def uh, definitely a strong team to contend with, and. Uh, uh, yeah, it's nice to see him back and, uh, you know, the other day uh, we were uh, at dinner and he was right uh, by our uh, table. So, it was nice to meet him and have a chat with him at the village and it's... Uh, Did you get a chance to talk to him? Because all I'm seeing on, on Twitter and Instagram is everyone mopping Rafael Nadal. You know, the best part is I can talk to him at the locker room. Ah. That, that's the access <laughs> I have, a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, a plus advantage, uh, you know, on that. Can you get me into that locker room? <laughs> yeah, if you start playing tennis, you can always, I always want to. Probably master at this age, Rohan, we are getting old. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, tennis players are allowed in the uh, locker room. So, yeah. you know, uh, not somebody who's playing tennis okay. yet. So, yes. yeah, maybe you become the tennis player. Too. Very soon. Uh, age is uh, against me, but I'm taking inspiration from you. But, final question, Rohan. Uh, also, Mare is saying this morning, he's not going to play. Singles, he's playing doubles as well. We saw him at doubles at Wimbledon. But, for his legacy, you know, he may have won just three, but credit to him for breaking that top three in tennis, you know, Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, he was counted and in what he has is what they don't have, two singles gold medals. And he's been a champion for British sport and he's been a champion for perseverance. Play with a medal for five years, Rohan. I mean, you've gone through your fair share of setbacks and every player does, sort of, every sports person does. But he, uh, special 
No, absolutely. He is he is a special player. I mean, uh, the commitment, the discipline he has set himself, uh, you know, to be at this level and constantly being able to fight and uh, you know play and uh, wanting to win every time he stepped on there. It's, it's just incredible. I mean, what he has gone through as an athlete and how much he has pushed himself. And today, uh, yeah, he's uh, decided to play only doubles. I saw the last two days he was practicing a lot of doubles <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, so, I you know, got an idea, okay, this is coming. Yeah, it's, yeah, not, a, uh, not the fact that he is going to withdraw, but then, uh, you know what, actually this morning, the ITF referee Alex Hughes called me and he said uh, uh, there's a withdrawal when he's singles, and since they needed to fill in the singles draw, and it came down to the doubles ranking, and then he said, you're next in line if you want to play singles. And I thought the smart decision would be not to play that singles. Uh, one second, that's a, that's a great thing you're telling us. You've been offered to play singles at the Olympics. Was the last time India played? Two singles players. Well, that's rare. It's I don't I don't remember. I don't think it's ever happened. Uh, you know, but I think Leander and Ramesh probably 92. Uh, 92. Yeah. So it's been yeah definitely a long long time uh, you know <laughs> coming. And, but I think the smart decision for especially with the condition of my body was to not get on the singles sport and uh, you know uh, never know if I got on it and I had to play Carlos Alcaraz or something. Oh. Rafael Nadal in the first round. I don't know. If that was even going to be happen, yeah. So, but I, I think uh, the wise decision was, you know, to uh, politely decline from getting. That's the uh, benefit of experience and insight. Ron Bopana, it's always been a pleasure talking to you at these uh, games and abroad. We don't get a chance to uh, travel with you a lot, but thank you for your time and wishing you and Sriram the very best. Thank you so much, Diggy. Thank you always, and a lovely time. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.